Hey, welcome everybody. In this video, we are going to optimize the home page of our e-commerce website. So I'm using Laravel debug bar to identify amount of queries and time taken and all these memory uses. So if you can see on home page, it is making 108 queries just to pull in some data. So currently it is not that optimized. Uh, let's see how we can optimize this. Here, uh, home page is being served from home controller. And in home controller, we are just uh, fetching some 50 products and getting some categories and passing it to home.blade. So let's see uh, home.blade. So if you can see this file is uh, quite big. So it's hard to identify which part is which. So, so it's a good practice to put them on parcel. So it will be a, a bit easier to make changes. So as you can see this div here, we have all categories. So it is a category section. We can put that on category parcel. Just cut it out from here and include category and we'll make new file category dot and put it here so that uh, it'll be a bit easier next time when we go to this file. Similarly, this is the banner area and here we have some uh, repeating divs. So yeah, so these are some repeating static content. I will just uh, grab this and put it inside another uh, view. Let's create new file. Let's say uh, dummy product. So this is just a dummy product uh, which we can see on home page play.php. Just put it here and include dummy product. And I can remove all these. And if I want three dummy product to show up on home page, I'll just uh, make these three. And we have already uh, refactored the single product. So I think it look uh, a bit better. So easier to organize and make changes. All right, so now let's move on to uh, make uh, query, query optimization. So um, let's see on Laravel debug bar, uh, which query is being repeating, uh, is being repeated. So uh, we have this category query and we have this a lot of getting soft from users. Yeah, so this uh, SOP, SOP ID, so we're identifying which uh, soft is for which user. So it is taking a lot of queries. So uh, first step, let's go ahead and see where we are using this soft relationship on product. So as you can see here, we on product, we are using getting the soft of product and getting honor and honor name. All right, so in controller, since we are calling the swap, rela swap relationship, this, we are not loading it. So we need to eager load that swap relationship so that it will be uh, fast in single query rather than just uh, querying in loop. So this is a loop. We are looping through all product and inside loop, we are accessing this rela relationship, which is making a lot of queries. So what we'll do is we will eager load that swap relationship so that it don't have to fetch on each loop. Now if we see, refresh and see, yeah, so from 106 query, we are just uh, down to 11 queries, all right? So also what we can do again is we are accessing SOP and then honor. So honor is another relationship on SOP model. So we can eager load that as well. So if I show you 
there is swap relationship on product and if we go inside swap there is honor all right so this again makes another query so what we can do is like swap and honor we can fetch both in one query like so let's refresh yeah a bit better and let's see uh what else we can optimize so if we say in categories we are getting parent and so another thing uh, we can optimize on this category section by looking at these repeating queries i can uh, see we can optimize on category section let's go to home and go to the category section here if we see look at this we are just making query on blade this is not good practice and it will also do the n plus one query all right so we can we have to optimize this uh, we definitely need to optimize this so if our category uh, grows up it will do a lot of queries uh, we can one way is we can just uh, cast these queries and uh, that way we don't have to make requests but there is better way so let's do that we have to load this relationship and access from this category object from this object we have to access that relationship uh, basically what we are doing is we are getting the children of this particular category so we are passing all categories and looping through each category and getting the children and we are again uh, going through each children and finding out what are the grandchildren of that particular category so the use of that is we go to men suppose we go to this category so it has this cosmetic children and this lipstick as grandchildren of this cosmetics all right so let let's go ahead and optimize this so how we can access this so this is the children we need to define a children relationship on category model all right so let's go to category dot php inside app so so this is not the one that we are searching for let's see inside app All right, so we already have this children relationship. We have to access that uh, relationship on our blade file. So let's do that. Go to category. So children, we can just do like this. Category children. All right. So to get this grandchildren, what we can do is just remove this grandchildren we have to call children on this child relationship now let's go ahead and see if anything is breaking yeah, everything seems to work fine uh, but let's see any difference on query no difference on query so let's uh, eager load this relationship Let's go to home controller and eager load that so category with so we'll load the children relationship children yeah a lot less queries so we can get children and grandchildren there we go okay so we have loaded all the required relationship we even loaded that which makes it we saves n plus one it prevented n plus one queries okay so from 106 queries to just seven queries all right okay so that's it uh, on for this video we'll optimize other pages on another video i'll see you on next video. Bye.